Sup guys, Heat King here bringing you a another rumoured leak video regarding Resident Evil 4 Remake. So, courtesy of the Reddit forums, this probably is most likely BS. Again, remember to take it with a grain of salt. This stuff is usually BS, but sometimes, sometimes there's a little hint of truth in there. A little, little tiny bit. So we can disregard everything. Plus, it's just fun to do these, do you know what I mean? Because then it's like, oh, we can discuss this and uh, think about what could be in there, what could not be in there, what could be changed, etc, etc. So, this is actually one of the short ones, so I'm just going to go through this very quickly then. And before I start, of course, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, guys, let's get on with this so-called leak. So, Resident Evil 4 Remake leaks. Warning, this may not be true. Well, at least he tells us it might not be true. Good for you, so I wonder where you got this from. Probably 4chan. It's usually 4chan. In the remake, two things was cut. One, a boss fight area, and two, a cut enemy. So, one boss fight got cut and one enemy. I wonder which ones. I wonder which ones. Come on, give us more. Like, can't really really say anything about that can we like uh, <laughs> uh, the game action segments will be like RE3 remake and RE village okay yeah I, I didn't mind those I mean what do they what does that even mean the action segments will be like RE3 remake I mean it, what, what, what like similar to like that segment of Carlos in the hospital where you just shoot a bunch of zombies that were trying to get through or RE village where, had, where you had to go through that stronghold and you were just fighting constant enemies or that segment of Chris if it's got if it's got action elements like that fair enough it's cool but I'm hoping it's more horror than than survival action okay and there will be stalker roles in the game obviously and the hookman is going to be in the game as a boss fight and with some beta assists and the game okay so the hookman apparently is in this apparently well now we, we've seen from the very first teaser that uh capcom is certainly bringing elements from the uh beta version of resident evil back into it uh leon wearing sort of uh one of the original designs for a jacket ashley wearing a more original design that she had in the uh original beta version of uh, resident evil 4 was a 3.5 the hookman being it would be pretty awesome like if they, if they can somehow try and make this i mean You've got Leon being infected, right? And he has like hallucinations on him, what, 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 in one part of the game, I think. It would be pretty cool if, if you had hallucinations here and there throughout the entire game and the Hookman was like one of the hallucinations that sort of attacks you. That would be pretty cool if they brought that back. Fingers crossed it's true, but uh, who knows. Um, <clears throat> some beta essence. And the game starts off with you playing Ashley first, then you play Leon after. So apparently you play as Ashley first and Leon after. I can probably see that being true actually i mean just from the teaser alone we can see that we we do see ashley running through the village early on so that could be a very early part of the game actually it would be very interesting to start the game off of you playing as a helpless defenseless uh, character and going through these sort of horror elements and then and then it cuts to you know we're actually getting captured properly like she escapes from a capture then she gets recaptured and then it cuts to leon entering the village and it's like okay here we go with the gunplay and that that would be pretty sweet actually i'm very i can see that being being legit but well well wait again we'll have to wait and see and krauser is in the remake uh, his character will be fleshed out more okay so apparently krauser is in the game um I, I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe. Until I see a character model of him, I don't know what to believe. I like the idea of him being fleshed out more, but uh, I still say he's one of the most pointless characters you could have in, in, in a game. Like, he just comes out so randomly in that game. Uh, yes, Darkseid Chronicles did an amazing job developing his character, but he's a character that's there from beginning to end. Krauser just shows up right towards the end of the game and expects you to, like, know him. And it's like, I don't know who this is. Why am I supposed to care? Like, if they can do a better job of developing his character, like, from, like, the get-go all the way to the end, then then I can accept his presence. But if it's just, like, a random... Oh, oh yeah, it, it is Krauser. It's like... I don't care. <laughs> the village section will be more spaced out. Whatever that means. I'm, I'm hoping it is. Like, if there's one... If there's if, if, if I had to choose between uh, the, the village, the castle, or the island to get cut down or expanded... I would prefer the village to be expanded and the other two areas to be shortened because God knows there's a lot of filler in between those areas there. Uh, 
and, and giant spiders will be in the remake as well. Yeah, see now reading that part just makes me think you're 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 BSing me. There, there, there's no way there's this spider. Then again, there might be. I mean, uh, they sort of got it right with the uh, drain demos in in the Ori Three remake. That was as close as you could get to spiders, actually. So maybe they could, they, maybe they could implement, maybe they could, do, they could design these kind of creatures bigger in in a in, in the RE engine. Like, I mean, if anyone had problems with no flying enemies, we got those with uh, RE Village with those little flying bat creature things, right? So you know, th for the, for them to say, oh, we can't do any flying enemies, you can. You you did it with RE Village, it's possible. You we can't do spiders, you can, because you did it with the drain demos in RE3 remake, it's possible. So it is possible to do it. Um, would I want there to be giant spiders though? Uh, not really. I like they they weren't in the original game, so what would they add? Then again, it would be nice, kind of, because they weren't in the re they weren't in a two and three remakes. Those were enemies that were specifically cut, so to have them return in this would would be kind of nice. It's like it's like they weren't in those remakes, but they're in this one. Uh, enjoy. Personally, I don't really care for the giant spiders, but if they are in it, cool, whatever. Uh, the game uh, have man, the, the writing for this is atrocious. The game will have uh, eight new enemies. How does a game suddenly have eight new enemies? Does that include the spiders? What does that even mean? We have eight new enemies. I mean, there's, there's plenty of enemies in, 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 in RE4. What does that mean, eight new enemies? See, again, that, that, that just sounds like BS to me. And the game has a lot of stealth. I have a lot of... Oh my god, seriously. English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? I, I can't even do it. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Like, I just find it offensive now to say it like that. Great, fun film, but yeah, like, come on, man, like, uh, maybe this was written in a different language and someone put it through the uh, Google Translator, this is how it came out, in which case, okay, fair enough, like, understandable, but God, you could do a better job, right? Uh, and the, the game will have a lot of stealth in the game. Stealth. The only game I've, I, uh, <laughs> the only, the only entry in the series that I saw that it's stealth good, or at least decent was Revelations 2. I think that's the only time where they neutralize stealth in a very positive way. If they can do it like that, that'd be great. But then would that mean you have a crotch button and you sort of sneak up on enemies and do it? Uh, RE6 tried to have something like that where you sort of run up behind enemies and then you stealth kill them, but that was so rare. That was very rare. That was like, I felt like there was only like three or four parts in that entire game where you could, you, where you could stealth attack an enemy and that's it. Um, Actually having stealth in it though, I don't know. I mean, it'll be sweet, but I don't know. I'm, I'm all for it if it can be implemented well, but yeah. And the merchant will have more backstory as well as Dr. Salvador and the island will have less action and be and will be in the lab most in the game. So the merchant will have a backstory, which I would love. Give us some backstory for the merchant. I would also love the idea of him turning into like a boss towards the end of the game. Like maybe something like what they did with Sekiro. You have you have that uh, uh, dude there, the sculptor, and he upgrades your weapons and stuff. And then at the end of the game, he disappears and he's he's turned into this giant fiery monster that as, that you can fight as an optional fight. That'd be kind of cool if they did something like that. Or maybe they can tie it with Re8 and reveal that he's with the Duke. That that would be that would be fun. Uh, and Dr. Salvador will be a stalker enemy. See, I've been saying this from day one that uh, Dr. Salvador will be a stalker enemy, but we're looking at the teaser where, and where we can see Mendes in that one shot in the teaser and he looks like Mr. X. So I'm starting to think maybe they've swapped it around or maybe we'll have two stalker enemies in the village. So like in different segments of the of the village, you, you, you either get stalked by Mendes or in another part you get stalked by the chainsaw guy. I don't know, that'd be pretty sweet, but uh, I'm hoping he's not just like a, a boss boss. I mean, I'm hoping he's like an actual Stalker enemy. Uh, the island will have less action and will be in the lab most of the game. Yeah, again, a lot of us has, has theorized that they're going to cut down on the action parts of the island and focus more on the horror aspects uh, and the lab segments and have the island be that. So again, I'm all for that. Uh, Mercenaries is returning and Dr. Salvador will be a stalker enemy but will be taller than Leon now and will have a boss fight in the warehouse when Lewis and Leon are fighting the Ganados and you can Okay, and you can switch the game in first person and the kick mechanic is returning. Okay, so a lot to digest here. Mercenaries mode is returning. It better return because, it, you know, forget RE3 for a second. RE4 was the one, you know, Mercenaries mode in RE4 was the one that made that a standard. You know what I mean? You pick a character and then you're just basically going through this one particular map, killing all the enemies and trying to hold out as long as you can. Whereas with uh, Re Resident Evil Freeze Mercenary mode, it was sort of like a mini campaign. You pick a character and then you go for enemies and you're trying to get to the end point, from point A to point B. That's kind of how what it was like designed. 
the OG, the OG, well that's the OG Mercenaries mode. The, 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 the Mercenaries mode that we've all come to love is, originally came from RE4, so hopefully they do, you know, throw that in there, otherwise it's just a bit big insult. You know, I mean, look at RE3 Remake, they they, 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 they cut out all the bonus stuff, they cut out all that, and they replaced it with Resistance. No one liked that crap. Like, that was an insult. That was a great bloody insult um, to to that to the OG game as well. Hopefully they won't do the same mistake here. Uh, Dr. Salvador will be a stalk enemy, but he'll be taller than Leon and he'll have a boss fight in the warehouse where... So this guy says warehouse, it's a camp technically, unless they've changed the location. Uh, I could see that happening, you know, you're with Lewis, you're fighting, and then the chainsaw guy comes out. Because I, I always felt that particular segment could have used a boss fight. I mean, if you think about it, uh, the evolution of that cabin fight was in the very early, it was literally right at the beginning of RE5 and they had that Axeman dude come in and, and terrorize you as you're going, as you're protecting yourself in the house and then you're, you're running outside and you're fighting. So maybe it'll be something like that, so like, uh, you know, the chainsaw guy will be the equivalent of the uh, executioner or the Axeman in uh, RE5. Man, it's going a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, so yeah. And then you could switch the game in first person and the kick mechanic is returning. So, yeah, I can see that ha No, no, see, here's the thing. I can see first person and third person being a thing for RE9. For RE4 Remake? Maybe, because they did say they wanted, uh, it's going to have VR. So, I think that's already confirmed then, in which case. But uh, I think the, ac the actual confirmation is, will the first person mode be VR only? Or will they do, or will they implement it in a way where you could use it for the actual game itself? We'll have to wait and see, right? Camera is shutting off all the time. Bad camera! Bad! Behave! So yeah, uh, the kick mechanic will be returning apparently. Again, yeah, I expect it to. Uh, uh, I expect a dodge, the dodge feature to return. And yeah, I would, I would expect uh, some of the combat moves to return. I mean, why cut that out? Those were fun to use actually. Uh, I get it, they want to go for more horror, but still, that's a, that's a useful feature. Kind of like Ethan's are guarding and pushing enemies away. Uh, and the game having new areas. You, you just said the the village would be sort of expanded. Like, that's already said in the set, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, would be un, it would be realistic that there would be new areas in the game. And Ashley will have improvement of helping Leon unlock doors, and will have a small knife and will push enemies and give Leon stuff to help him in a battle. Okay, so Ashley would be would be would be more like Moira then. Okay, yeah, again, I'm all for it. I kind of suggested this very early on. If you're doing a remake of RE4, make Ashley useful. Make her have like a weapon or something. Okay, in this case, it might be a small knife. Uh, I don't know how useful that will be, but okay. Uh, and she can help unlock doors and give items during battle. Okay, uh, if this is legit, uh, I would kind of like to see that. I, li I like the idea of you giving her uh, giving her all your ammo. And then, you know, as you're running out, like, from space and that, you get more space, she gives you more ammo and you can use it. So, you know, kind of the opposite of Sheva, where she was just hoarding everything, right? In this case, it's like, oh, you're running out of ammo? Here you go. And then, uh, yeah, that would be kind of cool. I don't get the whole unlock doors. I mean, again, that was kind of a thing in the original game, so... I don't know. Uh, and the Bella Sisters are cut from the remake. Okay, so apparently the Bella Sisters are cut. Yeah, I kind of I kind of expected that. Uh, if I if I had to pick one enemy that would be caught, I kind of see that happening, uh, especially with the simple fact that if you already have a chainsaw enemy, why would you need uh, multiple other ones? Personally, I feel like if if Ada's separate ways is in the game, the Bella Sisters would be exclusive to that campaign. That's kind of my prediction there. Like uh, they would be kept for that campaign instead. Uh, and Albert Wesker will be a small boss fight. That would be a dream come true. Nothing would make me more happy than to have Albert Wesker himself show up in this game and actually fight Leon. Now, as a small boss fight, yeah, I, I don't know. This is this is Wesker we're talking about. He deserves the spotlight. Like if he's gonna come in, he deserves the biggest spotlight you can give on this guy. Like he's 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 Ari's like he's he, well at least at least from early days he's the OG villain of the series. Like he deserves the spotlight, especially since this would be his Ari engine look as well. So, and in the remake, the game will have more survival gameplay. Okay, which I guess was obvious. I mean, they're going for a survival horror look. Obviously, it's going to have survival gameplay. And Salazar is is the re is the remake. Salazar is the remake. Wow. Oh my god, I didn't realize Salazar was the remake. Seriously, the freaking the freaking writing for this man. Salazar is in the remake still, and in the final boss fight, you will fight human Sadler and then Spider Sadler. Okay, this this I could dig with. Uh, yeah, I, I don't imagine they would have cut Sal Salazar out of the game. He's a big thing during the castle segment. I'm just curious if he's still going to be uh, a dwarf. Or if he's going to be the sickly old man that uh, you know some other league mentioned, I'm curious what they actually do with him. Uh, 
and sadly, you know, the final boss fight apparently will be a satellite and he'll have a human and spider form. Yeah, I would actually like that. I like the idea of having multiple uh, for boss fights. I like the idea that you fight Sad Lady's normal human form, you know, being the badass and pushing you, sort of like how you fight him with uh, Ada in separate ways, and then he transforms into his spider form. I kind of like that. I would hope they do that because, uh, yeah, for a final boss in the OG RE4, it didn't really deliver, unfortunately. I didn't really like the design either. It's just... It's just weird. I, I'm hoping they do a better job with, the, with some of the boss designs in this game, at least when it comes to Sadler, mostly. Um, there was one design, actually. I don't know if this was a beta design. I think this was a beta design. He had, like, multiple tentacles coming out of him, like, out of his head, whatever, with, like, the... It looked it looked very Parasite look, you know, like, uh, from the uh, Mongo anime Parasite, uh, with a Y. Uh, maybe, maybe like that. I'll be, I mean, it's the, the, par the Parasite... The last plugins in this are inspired by the Parasites from the Parasite anime manga, I think. From the mangas. I think the manga came out first and the anime came out after, so... That came out after RE4, I think. So, yeah, uh, what am I saying? Of course it's inspired. But more of that, really. That's what I'm saying. More of that, like, multiple technical blades like uh, coming out there that'd be kind of sweet um uh, and the side characters will have a mini story dlc the side characters will have a mini dlc a mini dlc so this brings up an, this brings up an interesting interesting question you're saying that we play as ashley and that so i'm assuming she will be a main player alongside leon in the actual campaign but then mini story dlc so what for ada and lewis i could see lewis getting a dlc i could Ada, I'm, I'm expecting her to be. I'm expecting them to adapt and and to remake separate ways as well because you can't cut that out. That's part of the main story. Like, like that's something that you should be able to unlock after you uh, finish the main game. Like, not having that would be ridiculous. Again, like, like get rid of as Simon Ada. We don't need that. But separate ways, yeah, that needs to be in there. That needs to be in there. This better not be. This better not end up being kind of a BS where it's like, oh, they released the remake, and then a few months later they release uh, separate ways as as, as a DLC. Which I can see them doing. Like that's the crazy thing. If, if DLC was available back in the day during the PS2 era, I could see them doing that. I could see them like, oh, we're gonna sell this as DLC. Yeah, it's like, no, don't do that shit. Don't do that. No one wants to see that. Like, no. I can see them doing that for a gold edition or something. But the thing is, the remakes haven't had gold editions. But it depends. We have to wait and see what happens. We have to wait and see what they confirm. But if Separate Ways is not in the main game, then yeah, RE4 Remake is 100% going to get a gold edition. And that's just going to be a slap to the face of the OG game, which really, when it released a year later on PS2, it came with all the content on it. Uh, and the devil release date is either November or December or January. Okay, the very fact that you had to name all of those specific dates just, ma just makes me go, yeah, this is BS. Like, like November, December... Obviously, it's gonna be like like right right before the game comes out. I, ima I imagine it'll be f like yeah, I can imagine it being January or February actually, November or December. Hell no, no. I feel like it's a bit it's a bit too that's a bit too early. Like way too early. Like it should be really the demo. Usually, a demo for these games comes out like a month, I think, or two before the game comes out. So January most likely. January most likely. Uh, if it, if this is true, I don't believe it. But yeah, overall, uh, this leak. Do I do I believe this 100%? No, I I don't. I like some of the ideas. Whoever it is that wrote this suggested, like it's got some good ideas uh, that I hope would would be neutralized because it's things I think a lot of fans have said. Like obviously, Ashley being able to fight would be one thing and help you out. Kind some of the areas. Uh, giving us new areas, focusing the island on being a lab instead, etc, etc, having Albert Wesker in it, yeah, those are things I think me and a lot of fans have suggested early on ever since this remake was first, like, uh, leaked, but yeah, uh, decent info, but again, take it with a grain of salt because this most likely is not legit, we'll have to wait and see what happens, we'll have to wait and see, I mean, like, let me put it this way, if, if, if we get gameplay footage, and it literally starts with us playing as Ashley. Like if they ever reveal then they're like, this is the first five minutes of the game and you're playing as Ashley, then I will believe this. But until then, until I actually see that, uh, this this is a grain of salt for me. But it's a fun grain of salt. Again, that's the whole point about doing these videos and, and talking about these rumors and leaks. Uh, it's fun to discuss and think about. Well, yeah, that's that, guys. That's that. Uh, another rumor leak for, for RE4 Remake uh, for this month. Wonder what we'll get next month, right? It's just gonna keep on going until the release comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you guys. Take care and bye.